Uh, here's my ZTEC turbo build. Just got the turbo mounted up provisionally. It's a bit tight. Flipped the manifold upside down on the flange. So now that's facing the opposite way to originally wood. Because I didn't want the turbo down here somewhere. It'd follow the water outlet, but it also just it's just a bit in the way of engine mounts and stuff like that. Which would be around here. So it's just a bit too low for my liking. It's a bit tight here. I've had to grind back that little mount. But it's sitting good, it's sitting how I wanted it. The main thing is, is that I wanted it aesthetically like that. That's kind of how I want it. I don't want it down here out the way like it's a front wheel drive engine. You know what it is. I wanted it like you see on an RB or a 2JZ, just plonked there on the side, facing up, proud and loud. If I had to spin the housing, point the outlet down. This then left the entire turbo casing upside down. So then I had to undo all of the bolts and spin the turbo casing so the outlet was facing down, inlet was facing up. I'm not really proud of the angle of the exhaust but here. It's going to be a bit tight coming down. I've got about that much room when it's in the bay maybe. Because obviously I can fit a thermostat housing in my Capri. The bulkhead needs a bit of a bash, but it, it does fit, which comes out about that far. And then I'm immediately on the bulkhead, so I would say I've got that much room for the turbo. Downpipe, so it's, it's a bit of an angle, but it should work. Someone's advice to take the out, out of the head for the feed for the turbo, because there was a NPT drive there. Which is perfect. It goes in all the way. I might put some thread seal on it. Otherwise, I'd be using one of these. I could. Depends how close I get to the head with this. Yeah, it is a bit. Maybe I will come down here. I got to fit one, which is going to be for the two, the Capri's uh, oil gauge on the dash. There's a third, and I've seen someone use that, but it doesn't look like it's in the main oilway, like this one is. Really one, yeah, isn't it? And that's about where I am so far. Got to wait for a few things still. Post is delayed, and it's taking an age. Main thing is, is to get the turbo finished, I need to... Finish welding under here, weld the flange onto the pipe, and then get a downpipe going. But unfortunately, the the V flange I had that come with it, excuse the mess that I'm here. The V flange that I had with it is a two and a half, and my exhaust is a two inch. I paid a lot of money for my exhaust a couple of years ago and I don't feel like changing it now so I'm going to come down from a 2.5 to a 2 inch I'm not going for mega power so 2 inch will have to do like I said I've, I've no longer had it and it's all stainless 